Hey everybody, Mr. Retractive here. It's hard to believe it's almost 2024. But hey, here we are, and we're still streaming, and we're still giving you guys the best content we can give you. Not only that, I also like to look back on the moments that absolutely surprised me this year. Surprising the gaming moments that I never thought would ever be possible until now. So today, I want to welcome each and every one of you to our top 10. Keep in mind that this is more my own personal list and not in any order. Each and every one of these moments are impressive in their own right. And personally, I can't wait to show them to you. So, welcome everybody to Mr. Retractive's Top 10 Moments of 2020. When it comes down to Mario Kart, I have so many memories of this game. From when I first played it on the Super Nintendo in Super Mario Kart, to Mario Kart Double Dash where I managed to complete it 100%. But out of all the ones for 2023 when it comes to Mario Kart, none is going to top the miraculous comeback victory I made in this amazing race with my viewers and some hardcore bots. I never thought in a million years I'd ever get to that point of actually somehow catching up. In races like that. Usually it's me getting in at least third or second or at least fourth place. But to come back in such a way with the amount of lucky circumstances and items I got. It just happened to happen that way. So, in honor of Mario Kart, this was that awesome moment of 2023. Oh shoot, yeah I'm already way behind. I had to accept the firm request, so... Okay, this time I actually got a freaking boo. Really? You give me the Super Horn game? Oh my god! Really, game? Okay, that time, that lightning was me. Only because I happened to be in the last damn place. There will no longer be any more coming from me ever again. I'm no longer in, uh, in, uh, laugh, so... Eat this, Dry Bowser! Screw you! No! No! You... No! Yeah, you go down! And then right after that, I absolutely didn't use another one. Oh, God, now it's now it's Bowser's son Morton that decides to do something about it. Great. Like father like son, apparently. Oh God! Enough with the lightning already! Oh please, boo, please let me steal a lightning mother. I still feel bad for anybody who did get hit by those damn lightnings, I swear. I just crossed! <sighs> We've rarely had any moments like overtime games. Sometimes we do, like in backyard baseball or some other sports game, but it was rarely in football. Until this moment here. This moment started right around the beginning of the new year, when all of a sudden, thanks to an amazing performance by Bones Jackson against the Tokyo Terminators, we were of course the Cleveland Burns, Bones Jackson mowed down the entire competition and made it straight to the end. Thanks to his awesome gameplay 
we were able to score a win and give ourselves one hell of a start to the new season. So, in honor of one of our best running backs of the Leaven Burns, this is for you, Bones Jackson. Run, Bones, run, buddy, run! In Backyard Baseball 2003, we've had some amazing moments in the series. However, none could top the two World Series games that saved us from losing our awesome undefeated win streak from beginning to end. And they were the last two games of the Backyard Baseball League World Series where it was best three out of five. Ken Griffey Jr. saved us in the top of the sixth where he hit a Grand Slam home run that shattered the wills of the other team and guaranteed our win and heading into Game 3. As for Yuki Emily, she pulled off an amazing double play and also closed us out in one of the closest games in Backyard Baseball World Series history on our channel. So for Ken Griffey Jr. and Yuki Emily, this one's for you. Welcome to 2024. PlayStation 1, as well as the entire PlayStation family, has always held a special place in my heart from my time in my youth all the way to my teenage years. From playing B Battlefront 2 to other games like, of course, Crash Bandicoot, Ratchet and & Clank, and so on. Heck, even Jack & Daxter was one of the first PlayStation games I ever 100% completed, or at least on the PS2. 
But the first one I ever completed was on my friend's console years ago, Medieval. That is, until one day, and you guys already know this moment, if you've ever watched a TikTok, is the moment where I found out that if you 100% complete Medieval PS4 Remake, you get to play through the original Medieval. This game reveal just almost brought me to tears. And I really, even though that I may have sounded like I was absolutely wondering if I really should complete it again, but then something in me told me I had to. Finally, in 2023, at the end of, well, of all things, Halloween month, I finally did it. So, in honor of one of my favorite PlayStation original titles, this is for you, Medieval, in the year 2023. Come on! Oh shoot, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run! Please. There we go! Got him! When it comes to Smash Bros. moments, yes, we got another one. I never thought I'd ever get two victories in a row in possibly some of the toughest fights I've ever been in. Luckily enough, in this one, this one was actually due to both of us having incredible skill and just hoping that one of us didn't mess up. Ghosty was an awesome player, and I was grateful to have a Mega Man player really join in the roster and really show his stuff. And then... Right when I thought things were, couldn't get any crazier, he decides to throw away the one chance he could have won with his uh, final smash and wanted to at least have an honorable fight, which I agreed to. So if there was ever going to be a final smash ball around it anywhere, I would have just left it alone and continued the fight. So with that in mind, we basically decided to go one-on-one -on -one as the last two remaining to see who would survive in the end and after one lucky smash attack to the side I was able to knock him out so Ghosty you are a worthy opponent and I hope I get to see you in 2024 my friend For those of you guys who don't know, Dr. Death is one of our most common viewers on the channel. He's been with most of my streams ever since he first de debuted himself on the channel. He's been an awesome friend, an awesome comrade, and possibly one of the better uh, moments of my career. Seriously, the dude has had some amazing moments of his career, but I believe out of all of them, nothing can top this moment. Me and another viewer were, ju were all playing, well, 007 Goldeneye, and Dr. Death joined us for a few matches. All of a sudden, when me and this viewer thought we had him cornered, 
Turns out he planted a whole bunch of bombs and, well, let's just say it had some explosive results. Thanks to him, he got an awesome double kill. And one that would be remembered for the rest of gaming history. Dr. Death, this is for you, pal. Welcome to 2024. What? How? There are a lot of first-person shooters out there I've played, from Halo, to Call of Duty, to Battlefield, you name it. But there's only one that captures the imagination and the absolute carnage and joy that comes from playing team-based matchups. No, I'm not talking about Overwatch. I'm talking about Team Fortress 2. In this moment right here, I was actually online with a bunch of people online along with a couple of my viewers who were on my team. We were pushing the payload when all of a sudden we were dealing with a huge horde of, well, the other team. It was the red team absolutely trying to stop us from delivering the payload. And, well, in the middle of that carnage, even though I may not have realized at the moment, I only realized afterwards that I got a triple kill. It's rare for me in Team Fortress 2 because everybody who plays that game is usually better than I am. Which is totally true. But this is one of those moments that even outright surprised me, of all people, getting a triple kill. So, I want to give this very moment to Team Fortress 2. One of my favorite first person shooters, aside from Halo, that I actually enjoy playing. <laughs> I've had some amazing boss fights in the past, and trust me, there were a lot of moments where I'm pushed to the brink and wondering if I'm ever going to be able to win. In this moment for Donkey Kong Country 3, that was exactly that moment. My dad had just arrived in my office and was watching me fight this last boss fight, and I was a little nervous at first. I had had many tries trying to beat this guy. Until finally, one run was all I needed. And as soon as he arrived in the office, I got this sudden lucky streak. Of moments where I should have easily just died. And yet still managed to come out on top and beat King K. Rule one final time. So, in honor of one of my favorite franchises in all of gaming... DK, this is for you and the gang.
annoying! Okay, I need one more hit. One more hit and I'm done! Okay, 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 okay. I didn't get hit. I'm, I'm okay. Just gonna wait for the electricity to show up. Hit him? Yes! Please! Oh my god! Oh, there you I go. I got it! Thank god! He's done! If any of you guys have known about my channel, I have started a no death run. What is that? When well, Star Wars Battlefront 2, I decided to come up with a challenge, thanks to one of my viewers many years ago on the channel, who requested that I try to beat every single level in the game with one class. I am not allowed to die once or I have to restart the battle from the beginning. I am not allowed to switch classes unless it's either to repair stuff or to heal myself. And... I was restricted to having a minimum of 75 kills. It was insane to say the least. However, one of my best clutch moments happened to be in Geonosis. I was inside the bunker in the middle of the battlefield when I was down to a sliver of health. I don't know how lucky I could have gotten to survive that intense situation. But, I was basically on Ultra Instinct mode in that very moment in time. And I managed to pull out a victory, clearing out Geonosis, and it also being one of my favorite moments in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, in this case, that's what happened. So, may the Force be with you all, and I hope you enjoy this clip. I'M STILL ALIVE! WE'LL PUSH THEM BACK! And finally, we're here. The last moment of 2023 for my top 10. I've created many characters over the course of my career streaming. From RPG characters to sports characters that would forever have amazing moments for years to come. But if I were to say which one I think had the best one for just an overall amazing story... It's Captain Tsubasa, Rise of New Champions. And even though this may not be about him, this is about his playthrough finally coming to an end for my character, Rin Dennis, that you guys helped me create. Which, of course, I fixed over time, fixing his stats, making him a lot better. But for my first ever livestream playthrough of the campaign mode known as New Hero Mode, it was amazing. And... There's nothing I could say that truly could encapsulate how much fun I had playing it with you guys. And the last moment of the entire thing was basically in overtime when Tsubasa and Hyuga made their famous Neo Twin Tiger drive shot and managed to get past Mueller the best goalkeeper in the game to help us win it in the end. Giving Rin Dennis his chance at the spotlight and being the first ever character to have a live stream on him. And the only one, currently. 
I'm hoping to maybe eventually do one in the future for some of the other characters we may eventually create in the future. But for this moment right here, this had to be mentioned because this was possibly the closest game I've ever had in Captain Tsubasa Rise New Champions. So, in honor of Rin Dennis, as well as in honor of all of you guys who helped create him and make him who he is today, to end off with 2023, this is the shot that saved the game. My name is Mr. Retroactive, and thank you so much for an amazing year of 2023. And I can't wait for the year of 2024. Until then, I hope you all have an amazing year. I hope to see you all next time, and possibly next year. This is Mr. Retroactive, signing out. So long, everyone. Oh, this is it! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Thank God Hugo is right there! I think this won it!